Well, it's towards the end of April, 2022. And um, <laughs> so I got this little tractor, which we found in the bushes, a couple hundred bucks, brought it back, rebuilt the transmission, worked on the engine, got in a couple of front tires for it. Runs like a charm. It would have been a throwaway for everyone else, but we uh, we put, it's 20.5 horsepower, so it's a V-twin. So it's got pretty good power for a lawnmower tractor. Um, and I kind of get a bit of pleasure out of finding something that most people would have thrown away and giving it a whole new lease of life. So I rebuilt the transmission. It was in rough shape, really low in oil. And um, so now she's good to go. Um, but now I'm taking it apart again because, call me crazy, but part of the part of the thing with Gambier is that we have this big pile of logs. We have a sawmill but I'm not flush with cash and not able to buy a front loader tractor. Um, it would be a lot easier to just go and drop, I don't know, $8,000 on a front loader tractor and then plus the shipping fees to get it over there. Um, and so I'm not doing that. So I'm going to do what maybe some people think is balmy, uh, but it might work. There's a slim chance it might work. So I got this winch on sale at Canadian Tire. It's three 3,000 pound winch, which is meant for the front of uh, an ATV and I'm going to when I'm and I've taken this off the back of the tractor which is pretty substantial rear unit and I've cut these um, these bits of angle which I'm going to weld here and then I'm going to put this top plate on top of it and then mount the winch and put it back on the tractor now clearly if I winch a log it's just going to drag the tractor across the dirt right so my plan is is to build um, basically a, a twin tines that will drop down and dig into the dirt. And then I'll probably strap the front of the tractor to a close tree. And instead of dragging the log, I'm going to loop the cable underneath and roll the log. So it's way less friction. And the fact of the matter is that I might do all of this, get it over there and it won't work, but it might work. It might be a challenge. It would be much easier to have a loader, but when you don't have a loader, you've got to improvise. Um, but I haven't done all the math on it. So, you know, at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, I can take this winch off and use it on something else or leave it on the tractor for towing small things. Uh, but if it does work, it'd be fab. Um, note to self, see this shirt, which my wife got me a couple years ago. It's a nice shirt. I just wrecked it, but it actually saved my stomach. So I was grinding and the grinding disc came apart. It grabbed the end edge of this coat, which is not wise to use a flappy piece of clothing. It probably wouldn't have hurt me actually because it, it, the reason, and it grabbed it and got completely twisted around. I've just unraveled it for myself. I'm counting my blessings that it didn't do any worse. I had, I had a guy working for me one year who was using a grinder with a, like a, a small, four inch blade that's like a saw, uh, skill saw blade which is so dangerous and he was up cutting an opening for a window and it flicked and caught his his and got tangled up in his jacket so his jacket saved his chest it would have just ripped his chest open um, anyway hazards of the job when you're not doing it all the time uh, so anyway I'm going to finish cleaning this up I'm going to weld it mount it back on and really, I won't know if it's going to work until uh, we get it over there in Gambier. So, um, yeah, I don't mind. It's fun. It's fun to make, uh, do something outside the box. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of laughs when I pull it up on Gambier uh, Harbor. I'll check in with you later when I get this my mounted. My good friend Mike doing the welding for me because it's going to be way stronger than my weld. Okay, so the winch is mounted on the back here. Pretty cool. It's cool if it works, right? If not, eh, we'll still have fun with the winch. I think my little boy will have fun uh, dragging stuff out of the muck. So anyway, I've wired it up. Um, just enough room here to use my tow hitch. And uh, just turn the pressure off. And wired it through. And then we've got a pretty tight little setup here this is the relay 
just to manage to squeeze it in here. And I haven't hooked it up to the battery yet, so once I hook it up, I'll uh, see if it works. I got, it comes with a switch, so this I'll probably mount somewhere on the dash up here. So, almost there. Check in soon.